ancient Greece, birthplace of democracy. Let's take a trip back in time to ancient Greece. It may seem that they lived too long ago and too far away to have any influence on our world of today. But this is not true. Anyone who lives in the Western world owes much to the ancient Greeks. They laid the foundation for much of our thoughts and beliefs even today. The ancient Greek civilization dates back thousands of years, more than 4,000, 2,500 years ago. Greek settlements could be found all around modern-day Greece, Turkey, and other parts of the Mediterranean Sea. The ancient Greeks turned that thinking around. They believed that the government should exist to serve its citizens. This is the essence of democracy. The heart of Athens and many other city-states was the Agora, an open marketplace. This is where people gathered, sapped for all their needs, and sat with each other about the latest events. It is also where men conducted their everyday business, making it a very busy place. Women would usually only come to the Agora to fill the family's water jugs at the public fountain, since houses did not have plumbing. The Greeks recognized the connection between a healthy body and a healthy mind. The city-state of Sparta was more focused on sports and competitions than any other. Our lifestyle of training at the gym is an activity that has its roots in ancient Greece, particularly in Sparta. To ancient Greek thinking, the ideal person should always be training both mind and body. The ancient athletes would compete in the games while spectators watched from their seats in the stadiums. We are still captivated by events like these, aren't we? Then, in 776 BC, the most famous and important of these games began in Olympia. They were dedicated to the god Zeus and became known as the Olympics. As one of the many legacies from ancient Greece, they are still taking place in modern times. These gods are known as the Olympians. Mount Olympus, the highest point in Greece, was said to be their home. The god above all other gods and mortals was Zeus. His wife, Hera, was another of the Olympians. She was the goddess of marriage. She was also the protector of family and married women. Zeus had three brothers. The best known is probably Poseidon. He was the god of the sea. His trademark is his trident, the three-pronged fork symbolizing his power. A storm at sea was thought to be a sign of his displeasure or maybe his unpredictable moods. Zeus' daughter, Athena, was of great importance as the goddess of wisdom. She is often sown in full battle gear, even though she disliked war. Instead, she would inspire skill to help her heroes win their battles. The idea to use the Trojan horse is said to be an example of her inspiration. 
They've given us democracy, which is the basis for governments around much of the Western world. The Olympics and all stadiums and spectator sports is an athletic tradition that will likely continue for centuries to come. Lastly, they have left us with a rich body of literature, including Aesop's fables, the Iliad, and the Odyssey. What the ancient Greeks did, thought, dreamed, and lived all those years ago lives on in our lives today. And they continue to inspire our thinking all these years later. Join us for part two, where we will revisit Greek architecture, temples, scientists, philosophers, and more. Thanks for watching and listening.